Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Prison Architect, where it seems that we have a little bit of a rat problem here at the loveliest prison. Now they're very, very lovely rats, so let's make that very clear very early on. They are very adorable little things. Think Ratatouille, the film. All the rats around here are just like that. Little, happy, cute, friendly rats, but we do need to round them up and send them away to a nice rat island where they can all be together and form a little sort of happy rat community and all that kind of stuff. And to that end, last time, we we did put down a few rat traps. However, if we look over here, the game is telling us that there are still roughly 10 more rats around our prison. That's quite a lot. That's way more than I was expecting because last time, did we catch two or three last time? I forget, but we've caught a few. We've already sent a few rats away to the lovely kind of rat paradise, which is where they go when we catch them. But there's still 10 more sort of you know, lurking around the place. And I don't know where they are. I've got no idea where they're hiding. They could be hiding in drains or under trees or under benches or whatever. I've got no idea where the rats are. So I think it might be worth just popping down a few more rat traps just to see if we can't catch a few more rats and then, you know, send them off to the rat paradise to join their fellows that are already on their way. So I think let's get a few more of these done. Now, they're not that expensive, I don't think. So rat traps, they're $25 a piece. That's not much at all. I mean, I assume most of that is the cost of the lovely big piece of cheese in the middle. It's going to be nice cheese, isn't it? So, yeah, I think, yeah, that we can afford a few of them. We've got back over to $30,000. So let's put a few of these down. Now, I think over here, the sort of the kitchen, the cafeteria, they're sorted. There's a trap in the kitchen. There's a trap in the corner of the cafeteria. That should be okay. However... The other place where there's a lot of food over here in the staff cafeteria, there is not one of these. And I imagine the rats might come over here to, you know, pick up the crumbs and the leftovers and the bits that have fallen on the floor and all that kind of stuff. So I think if we put a rat trap sort of in the middle just there, that might hopefully catch any rats that are, you know, sneaking around for food over here. And, you know, we're giving them a better choice rather than the rat having to go and eat a bit of leftovers or, you know, a banana or something. Rats not known for eating bananas. They can go and have some lovely cheese. And then when they get the cheese, they then get sent away to this really lovely rat paradise where we send them. So, you know, it's a win-win for the rat, really. So there we go. And then I think as well, let's put one possibly over here somewhere, a big open space, put one over there, possibly put one down here near the bins, in the garbage area, because maybe they're going through the garbage bags or whatever. So pop one just there. I think as well, we pop one in here in the utility room just to make sure they don't come in and, you know, nibble on the batteries or whatever. So we'll put one over there, I think. Have we got one round here? No, we haven't. Okay, let's put one just there. We've got so much stuff that we could sell. Oh my goodness me, there are many, many things that we could sell for some more money. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Now, do they go into the cells? I am not entirely sure if they do go down into kind of the cell bits because, you know, they're quite bright, they're quite well lit and the rats are going to stay kind of in the shadows and such like, aren't they? So I don't know if they do go into here. So I don't think we'll put any in. Oh, we do need to remove that wall at some point. Because, yeah, the whole plan was that that kind of runs through. Okay, we'll sort that out at some point. But, yeah, we won't put any inside. We'll put one just there, though. That makes a bit of sense. Uh, we'll put one, I don't know, outside the cafeteria, possibly. And then possibly one up there as well, because there is one just there. That should be okay. Do you know what? We'll pop one over there as well for now. And there's one just there already, isn't there? Yeah, so we've got a few dotted around. So hopefully, with all those in, if we move time on a bit, right, build a squad. Build a squad, assemble all those things. They should all arrive. I mean, are we still getting extra kind of supplies? Because if we are, we're not going to be able to sort of fit all these in. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. What have we got a lot of? Lights. We always seem to have so many lights dotted around the place. Now, I did notice, actually, looking over here, a few of the cells in the sort of the toilet areas and the, sort of the little sort of private bathrooms, they don't seem to have lights in. So it might be worth... Just putting a few lights into there, just to make them a bit nicer. We've got 15 sort of spare lights. So I think we can I think we can afford to dot a few lights around the place. So yeah, they don't have lights. There's a rat there. There's a rat right there. Just in that person's... Oh, that's not good, is it? They're in that person's cell. They must come up through the drains or whatever. Okay, we'll put a light on top of it. I'm sure that'll sort it. A light there. Um, Yeah, that doesn't have a light. That's not got a light in it. Uh, that doesn't either. We'll put one just there. Does that have a light? I can't see if that has a light, although it looks quite well lit, but I can't see where the circle is for the light. So we'll drop a few lights into there. That definitely needs a light. And that one does as well. Okay, there you go. A few lights dotted around the place. How are we looking over here for lighting? Yeah, that's a bit dark over there, isn't it? So we'll put some lights into there. That looks okay. That looks fine. Nope, that's not got a light. Put a light into there. Okay, so that should sort that, that out for lights. Right, let's move time on nice and quick. 
And then when they've cleared the lights out of here, we'll be able to see what there is left. Because there's an awful lot of stuff in here. We've got more ironing boards and bricks and things. Right, hang on. Have they done all the stuff? Or are they coming back to grab more lights? No, they're coming back to grab more things. <laughs> there are many, many things in here that we need. Okay, I think that should be it. Hopefully. Yeah, they're fitting all the lights in. Okay, right. I think that's it. So what do we have in here then? Hang on a second. So what have we got now? We might need a large door. We possibly don't need another laundry basket, do we? There's another rat just there. There's cheese there, rat. Look at how delicious the cheese is. There's 15 rats now. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. The janitor isn't happy. I've just seen a rat scurrying about with some food. They must be raiding the kitchens. Yeah, I, I kind of gathered that, but I don't know how. There's a rat trap in there. I'm not entirely sure. Can we call some sort of professional people in? Um, where is that? Emergencies. Air, pl air pest control. Yes, I think it might be worth calling them in because now there's 15 rats. <laughs> there are many, many rats all around the prison now and I don't know where they are. I can see where one is. So many rats. Oh dear. Um, yeah, it might be worth calling them in. Can we call them in, please? We're going to call in air pest control. Here they come. <laughs> hey, air pest control. Oh, there's that person still standing on the um, on the helipad. Just being squished by a helicopter. Um, right, here we go. Oh, crikeys. <laughs> right, okay, so hopefully they will help. They will help. Number of prisoners with food poisoning. Oh, no, that's definitely not good. Right, so they're going around the place. They're doing some fumigating. Do, do we need to tell people to stay inside for that kind of stuff? I've got no idea. Are we supposed to do that? Okay, they can do their thing. That's fine. That's okay. You guys can just wander about and do all that kind of stuff. That's not very good. Is it? Okay, back down to here we go. So I think, I think we've got so many stained glass windows. We've got so many of those. Um, I mean, why don't we just dot a few around? Let's just put a few of them around, shall we? So hang on, windows. We've got another six. Yeah, that would sort of sound about right. So how about we put, I don't know, a, a couple of windows in this room, in the in the staff canteen bit just to make it a little bit sort of brighter and airier um, how about one in the meeting room that's quite nice uh, we'll put one possibly the end of that corridor to make it a little bit sort of you walk down the corridor and you've got a lovely stained glass window in front of you that's quite nice we've got what two left um i don't think we should put one over here they all kind of need to you know an exterior facing ones should be in kind of these rooms here that are staff only rooms because uh, otherwise, yeah, the prisoners will break it and just, you know, leave the prison, which would be bad. Um, how about, oh, yeah, we've got two more. I'm entirely sure what we do with them. Um, how about, I don't know, over here. One there and, uh, yeah, hang on, how many space is that? One, two, three. So one, two, three. Just over here, just to make that look a little bit lighter. I mean, at some point there will be a corridor outside of there. So they will be completely pointless windows. But there we go. At least that does clear that out a little bit more. And then we can see what we do have. So we've got a laundry basket and an ironing board and a door and a pool table. Okay, we want to keep the pool table. That's fine. But yeah, do we have room up here for more things? We might possibly have room for one more laundry basket. Maybe, possibly. We've got one in storage. We'll pop it. I mean, where can it fit? Just there? Hopefully that doesn't block access to the little ironing board there. But I mean, there's four ironing boards. That should be okay. The rats are down to ten. Five of them have gone away to the great rat paradise. Um, okay, and then I think uh, we sell that ironing board and we sell all these bricks and things. So let's do that. So objects, hang on a minute, so all the way to the bottom. So sell objects. So we'll sell the ironing board. I mean, we might just, we'll sell the door for now. It's fine. And then we've got all these kind of things here. So sell material. That's seven hundred and ninety-eight dollars of bricks. Eight forty. We've just made so much money on just selling stuff that we've just got lying around. I mean, we might need that at some point soon, but right now it's more important that we have the cash for that. And there we go. They've grabbed that thing. That is very good, right? The janitor is calling us again. Congratulations on handling this calamity. I didn't handle it. I bought in some other people who did, <laughs> and they were better than me. Your prisoners are thankful for your care and will have their needs boosted for the next three days. Oh. Okay, that sounds like a good thing. That sounds like a positive thing. Um, yeah, I think those guys are still sort of hanging around the place. I think when the rats go down to zero, we then dismiss them, of course, because that would be pointless keeping them around otherwise. But um, yeah, that's going to be a while for them. But yeah, it says down here, rat infestation. I want them to sort it out, that to go to zero, that to go away. That would be ideal. Right now, though, let's get rid of this. Let's knock these walls down. Um, yeah, demolish walls, so get rid of those. Um, 
Do you know what we could do with some lights along this corridor? It is a little bit dark along that corridor. Hang on a minute. Let's get some lighting. Um, yeah, get some regular lights for now. We could put some wall lights on, but they don't look overly nice to the wall lights. These lights are fine. We'll put one there and one there and one there. That'll do. Right. So they can come over and work on this. Right. So the wall's done. Yeah, that opens that up. That's really nice. That's very good. You can sort of walk around. You could, you could do laps if you like. The only thing is we could do with making this look a bit nicer. I do want to get more sort of flooring and such like in. I mean, yeah, if we made this, I'd like, I'd like the cells to have different floors, but can we get the corridor with that same flooring in? Or is that going to bankrupt us? Because it's quite expensive. It's that, isn't it? It's the laminate flooring that's fire resistant, which is handy. But I think if we do that, that's 1,300 money just for a very, very small stretch of flooring. But then can we, do you know what? Let's bite the bullet and do it. Let's do it. There we go. 3,100 of our monies going on some fire resistant flooring, which I suppose isn't that too, yeah, it's not that bad an idea. Also, this is a common room. It doesn't need a door. That, that's pointless. Dismantle that, please. <laughs> that's a very silly thing. Um, let's sort this common room out as well. I think in here, can we have a massive load of phones and then just some chairs? Uh, and then we could have something else in there, like a chess table or something. We have got a pool table in reserve, but I've kind of got an idea for that. Um, I think that's a cell, a gym and a yard. Oh, hang on. Can we put punch bags in the gym? Have we got a punch bag in the gym? Uh, oh, yes, we have. Of course we have. Yeah, they're in the corner. Okay, right. No, don't do not do that then. Forget about that. Um, yeah, so I think if we that door's gone. So in the common room, yeah, I want to get some phones. But then, yeah, the pool table is... It doesn't. It, no, that's not how. That's not going to work, is it? You need space on either side. Okay, so the pool table isn't going to fit. We could put an arcade cabinet in. Oh yes. So how about we have three arcade cabinets? Oh, I like the sound of that. That's good. And then just have a load of phone booths. Now, a few people in the comments did say put in more phone booths because then your prisoners are less likely to hoard away mobile phones, you know, in their cells because they can use these ones. So we'll have that, and then. How about just a load of the leather chairs just sort of sat opposite? So if we just have like that, and then we could have like a drinks machine in the middle, possibly. So hang on, drinks machine. Like a like a water. We could have a proper drinks machine. Or do you want a little water, sort of water cooler thing? Does that help? Um, improves a canteen, classroom, dormitory, and gym. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on. If we put that in like that, what were the other ones? So canteen, a classroom, and a gym. Have we put water in the gym? I mean, that would make sense to do so, wouldn't it? No, we haven't. Okay, we'll put a water thing in there. And apparently it also helps with the classrooms. Okay, I'm, I'm in. Yes, let's pop one in that corner. And then we'll put one just there, because there's a radiator there. So we can't have it in that corner. Um, and the rats are gone. The rats have been dealt with. Okay, right. Farewell rats and farewell rat, I don't know, whatever you are, rat keeper people, pest control. Thank you. That is wonderful. Okay, so that's good. Now we can get this sorted down here. So this common room can sort of spring into life and there's phones going in and I assume they're working. They're plugged in, right, are they? Um, yeah, seems fine. They seem okay to me. They seem happy enough. Uh, chairs going in, right, flooring. So flooring in here. Let's have... I mean, what's going to look nice in here? Something, something posh. How about marble? No, limestone might be quite nice. Some limestone flooring in there. Why not? Very la -de da Okay. Right, so let's wait for them to finish this common room with all the flooring and everything else, because I think when that's done, that will look quite nice. Okay, they're on it with the flooring. There's a couple of bits left. And there we go. Our new common room is set up and it looks very good. It looks very, very nice. So they can go on the phones. They can just have a nice little sit down, take the weight off, and they can then play on some, um, some arcade games as well. That is very good. Okay, happy with that. That's looking very good indeed. Um, right, now, can we now think about the chapel? I think the next big thing to do is get the chapel in. It's not a big space, but I think we should be able to get a few sort of uh, a few pews and whatever else in here. So how about slow time down a second? There is also um, a thing, isn't there? A program we can do. Um, where is it? It's something to do with that. spiritual guidance. Ten. Ten people in the queue for spiritual guidance. Some prisoners are religious or have a general need for some spirituality in their life. Bring in a spiritual leader from a local community to lead them through prayers and instill a sense of calm amongst your prisoners. Okay, 
Right, so it says it lasts two hours. Each participant requires pews or a prayer mat. Okay, we'll put a mix of both in, seems fair. And okay, so we don't have to have like a, a sort of a prison priest or whatever. We hire somebody in from the local community. Okay, right, yeah, let's get this um let's get this set up and offer a little bit of sort of spirituality to our uh, to our prisoners. Uh, so flooring wise, what's going to look good for a chapel? What's going to look nice? I think possibly fancy tiles. Because, yeah, that sounds nice. We'll have fancy tiles, please. So all of those in there and in the doorway as well. Um, and now more importantly, possibly, oh, we should have put the stained glass windows in here. Hang on, we're going to get some more of those. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Because, you know, it is a churchy type thing. So uh, we'll have one there and one there and one there. Very nice. Um, right, what else do we need then? So we need an altar, pews and a prayer mat. Okay, right. So there's the altar. 500 monies. Um... Okay, that seems, it's quite big. Which way round is that facing? Hang on, what's the default way that they face? I think it's facing toward us. Yeah, if we rotate that round, that's the back of the pews. That's the right, that's the front, that's the left. Right, so I think the default is it's facing toward us. So if we put, hang on, the pews were huge. The pews are four. That's really big. I thought they'd be like in pairs, like two. Um, okay, what can we do here? Because I was thinking we put the... If we put the altar up there, but then we're not going to have... The pews are going to block the door, which isn't ideal. Unless we move the door. I suppose we could have pews, 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 pews. Have the altar... Hang on, we might, can't probably have that many pews. So pews, like one, two, three, four lots of pews. The altar up there, and then have the prayer mats over this side, possibly? That might... How big is a prayer mat? It's one square. Okay, right. I think we might need to move the doors, possibly. Hang on a second. Come out of that. So, um, yeah, if we could put... The door's over there. That'll be wonderful. We're going to change the flooring and all that kind of stuff. Ignore the flooring request over here because that's not going to work. Right, hang on a minute. Then we need the walls, which are these Utani walls, I think. So put those in. Right. So that's going to make things look a little bit better. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. That works well with the whole chapel flooring. That looks quite churchy in a way. Uh, yeah, we're going to need the flooring back over there. Okay, so floor and floor. And then, um, yeah, right. Let's get the objects in. So if we say pews... So that's the back. So one, two, three, and four. And then the, that thing can go... I mean, do they need to get behind it or not? I'm not entirely sure. If we put that there, and then they can get behind it and stand behind it if they need to. And then we can just have a load of sort of prayer mats over here. We can just have eight of those over there, which... You know, let's put a ninth in. Let's throw a ninth in. There we go. So that's plenty. That's plenty of sort of, you know, worship places. Whether you want to go to a prayer mat or sit on a pew or whatever. That's an awful lot of stuff in the chapel. So now they just need to get on with sort of putting it all in. The floor's done by the look of it. So now they've just got to finish working on, you know, the, the bits and bobs, the altars and the pews and such like. And I think that's it. It is done. Right, so whilst they fit the prayer mats in, the prayer mats do look very colourful. I like them. They're very vibrant and exciting, aren't they? Um, I think... Let's put some more nice things in here. What can we do in here to make it look a little bit more interesting? So go to objects. And we could have some paintings. Some paintings might be quite nice. Um, hang on a minute. Where are they? Uh, there's a painting. Because it could all be sort of, you know, religious kind of iconography and all that kind of stuff. We'll put some paintings in because that's pretty. Um, what would they actually do? Oh, do they don't give you any bonuses. It's just a nice thing to have. Okay, and then how about a trusty plant? Everyone loves a plant. We'll have a, a sort of a holy plant just there. Why not? Okay, that will do. I don't think we can fit too much else in there without it becoming a little bit sort of cramped. But okay, there we go. So we have a chapel set up, which means that we can now offer spiritual guidance. Yes, absolutely. Start that, please. So that's going to kick in. 8 till 10. 8 till 10 every morning. You can go and have some spiritual guidance and, you know, so, you know, do a bit of do a bit of worship. You do a bit of praying or whatever you want to do. And just, um, yeah, go over here and, you know, and embrace your religion if you would like to. What's going on just there? What do we need to care about? What's happening here? Um, okay, hang on a second. Hang on. What's that mean? Have we seen that before? I can't remember. You're a legendary prisoner. Oh, Okay, <laughs> can we house legendary prisoners? I assume we can house legendary prisoners. I, I'm, I'm thinking we can. Uh, okay, Bailey. Let's have a look at you then. Oh my goodness me, you're in for all sorts of terrifying things. Um, two counts of standing up as soon as the plane lands. That's nine years in total. Slamming car doors, three years. 
uh, folding the corner of pages in book seven years and eating with your mouth open five years. My goodness me. <laughs> what were you eating? Um, okay, right. So you're a legendary prisoner, apparently. And you're in for 24 years. Okay, right. You best you best sort of you know, get used to it and settle in all that kind of stuff because you're going to be here for an awfully long time. Oh my goodness me. Right now, how is our reoffending rate looking? It's on 50%. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, we've got some very high numbers going on. Although, to be fair, we've got two maximum security people. Their numbers aren't that high. It's it's you lot. It's you. When are you leaving? Can you clear off? Oh, you're here for ages. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Okay, right. I don't think we're going to get that grant sorted, are we? We're not going to get that nice grant sorted for the reoffending rate. That would be good because it gives us a huge pile of money, but... Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. What I'd like is... Oh, look at that. Somebody's in here embracing some spirituality. That's very good. You look a little... Are you praying? You look a little bit agitated. You're kind of looking a little bit sort of frantically around the place. But yeah, there we go. So somebody is already making good use of our little chapel over there, which is very good. There you go. You're welcome to it, Comrie. Why do we seem to have no money all of a sudden? Is it because I just spent a load of money on this over here and various other bits and bobs as well? Is that why our money seems to have come down quite a bit? Um, okay, do you know what? It, it's fine. I'm sure it'll creep back up again, maybe, possibly at some point. Why are there so many kind of trays of food lying around? No wonder we've got rats everywhere, because there's just loads of grot all over the place. Hang on a minute, hang on. Do we need to hire some more janitors? Because, I mean, yeah, there should not be trays of food lying around. There's three over there. There's one tray of food just in the middle of the kind of the green bit out here. There's one kind of in that doorway, which looks like it's got stuff on it still. So I don't quite know what's going on there. So how about, I mean, what if we put that, what if we put you directly on that? Do you immediately clean that up? No, you do not. Who picks these up? I'm not entirely sure who tidies up the food trays. Uh, we'll put another three janitors in. There we go. Just to make things really nice and clean. Oh, and it's good to see you lot of spring into action. <laughs> Trying to go and do some cleaning, folks. Yeah, okay, you, yeah, you're doing the induction or whatever. That's fine. Remote learning or something. Could you do some cleaning? Anyone? Are you, I mean, did I give you a brush or a broom or something? What's going on over here? <laughs> Why have they paused? Oh, there we go. There we go. Right, so you are getting on with some cleaning, but nobody's picking up the food trays. I mean, do we have to specifically tell them to dump them? So what if we put dump? Does somebody run over and get these? Is it the cleaners? Or is it the builders who come and collect these? Oh, no, there you go. That, that guard just went and picked them up. That guard just grabbed them. So if we see dirty food trays, we can say, you know, we can give a specific order to go and grab them, and they will do something with them. It's a bit weird they're just left lying around, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Right, well, at least that's something we've learned there. And we have got some more cleaners to make things a little bit tidier. I think what we need to do now is we need to look at what we're going to do with this area here. Because originally... We're going to have the shop in the middle, and it was going to be lovely. And then around the edge of the shop, there's going to be some nice gardens. And you could have little sort of benches and, I don't know, plants and shrubs and a fountain and all that kind of stuff. And the thought was that you go to the shop, you'd pick up your stuff from the shop, and then you go and sit outside and enjoy, yeah, enjoy the fresh air. However, mainly due to a lack of kind of space around our little island, uh, we've had to sort of build things next to the shop, including the meeting room over here. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> Have you been discovered to have a... What did you have? You had a spoon, was it, or something? Okay, fine. We've, we've got troublemakers over here. Also, Alonso is just, just standing there. You're not in for that long. Okay, I don't quite know what's going on there. Right, so back to over here. So yeah, we put the meeting room in next to here. Somebody's got whatever that is. Do we need to do another shakedown? Do we need to do another shakedown? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Right, can we wait a second? I'm, I'm, I'm using what we do with this space. Stop acquiring naughty items, prisoners. Um, so yeah, we're going to have the shop, then some space. Then we put a meeting room in, because we don't have anywhere else for it to go. And then it kind of makes sense to have another room just here. But then, because we want that kind of external corridor thing going around the place, it kind of makes sense to have this bit over here sort of, you know, sort of uh, bricked in, if you like, if that makes sense. Because otherwise, yeah, it's going to just be a bit weird to have an outside bit and then the corridor going around where we've planned it. So I think we might want to change this around a little bit. And what I'm thinking is we could, and this has been suggested in the comments by, I think, a couple of people, we could move the common room because you know, it's quite big. There's a lot of space over there in the common room. We could have a common room over here 
because I don't think it has to have walls as such. It has to be inside, but I don't think it has to have walls, you know, closely sort of on each side. You can just have it sort of zoned out in this area here. We could, as quite a few other people have suggested, put some toilets in over here. We could put a little sort of toilet block over there, possibly. That wouldn't be so bad. And then we've got a room here as well for something else. So I think we might want to kind of fill that in. But we do need to do something with the library just here, because that is not big enough. That's not big enough at all. The library needs to be at least five by five, and that's only four. So I think if we do change this round, we do need to you know, make sure that we encounter, incorporate sorry, the, the library. We need to make that a little bit bigger or move the library. I mean, do we put the library just here? Possibly that becomes the library. That becomes something else. I'm not entirely sure. What else do we need to put in? Uh, so it can't really be the restaurant because, yeah, it says prisoners with experience in cooking or customer service can prepare and serve food to civilian customers. So we don't want civilian customers wandering into the library just here, which is kind of in the heart of the prison, because that's potentially a little bit dangerous. Um, and the same goes for the um, the bakery as well, I think. Where's the bakery? Oh, I can't see where it is. It's somewhere around here, but that's a kind of a similar thing, isn't it? Oh, there it is, just there. Um, yeah, so people can, yeah, they can sell stuff to the customers, but it wouldn't make sense for the customers to have to wander all the way into the middle of the prison, because again, bit dangerous. Is there anything else that we need to put in? I mean, there is something down here that we are lacking, that we can have. A kennel, where the dogs live. The only thing is, I'm thinking, do we want that to be in the middle of the prison as well? Or do we want that to go down here? Because we also have a little bit of room down here where we could change things around. And we could as well, if we wanted to. We could block this bit off make that a little room and have access to storage through the infirmary. Not quite as ideal as it could be, but we could do that. That would be okay. Do you know what? That's probably worth doing, actually. If we just, you know, close this off, how big does the um, the kennel have to be? It's got to be five by five. Why is everything so big, game? Why do you have to do it five by five? Okay, right, so the kennel can't go down there, so we won't do that, because that's nonsense. Um, okay, okay, never mind. Never mind, we'll forget putting the kennel down there. But yeah, we've got a kennel as well. So what can we do with this space here? Right, go to the planning tool. Right, clear all that out. Get rid of that. So that can go away. That's fine. So then, if the library... So I mean, that's going to have to be a corridor coming up to here. Because eventually we are going to have that kind of big corridor going around here, which is all fine. So I think... And if we had... No, get rid of that. If we had, say, a pathway. A pathway can just be like a, the area. So if we had like the common room going across like that, but just have a, a zone. And then you can walk around the edge of it if you like, but this bit here is where the common room stuff is going to go. So, you know, the tables and the chairs and all that kind of stuff. That could go over there, possibly. Like that, maybe. And then, yeah, could that possibly be a, a toilet block, possibly? Maybe we could have a loo over there. Um, and then, yeah, is that five by five? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that could be the library. Not as big as I would like it to be. But then, you know, we are pushed for space. So maybe that could be the library. So unzone that library there and then get a new library set up over in that space, which we're not allowed to do because it's outside and the game says no. Okay, right. Remember that's a library, everybody. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Planning. Um, pathways. That We just zone that out as a library. And then, yeah, we're going to need some doors to go into there. I think maybe you want to go... You probably want interior doors to the library. So one there, I would say. Possibly one going out into the common area. So if you're in the common area and you fancy a little read of a book, you could pop into the library maybe. There we go. So we'll have that just there. You can get into the shop from the common area. That's fine. And then, yeah, the meeting room. You don't need to get into that from there. But then do we also put a little thing going across here, like another corridor bit going across here maybe? Because then you can walk along here or walk up that way. I quite like that. But then we are cutting into the garden space. And I would like a big kind of farming thing set up over here. Although that probably is plenty of room for a big farm. So I think maybe that's what we do. So we go like that. And then, hang on a minute, fill that in like that. That wasn't done. Yeah, so something like that. I think that would work. But then we do have this kind of space up here, which is doing nothing at all. I'm not entirely sure what we can do with that. Unless we do make it into a sort of a toilet block. So they can nip to the loo if they would like to. Because at the moment they have to go back to their cells, I think, to go to the loo. So maybe, yeah, we could have some toilets over there. That might be worth doing. Hang on again. So plan that. Let's have that like that. And then, yeah, one side could be toilets. And what could we do with that? 
I don't know what we could do with that. I don't know. Let's have a look. What could we do with this tiny space? Oh, there is something that we haven't got. We haven't got a weather centre and it only has to be three by two. So that could be a very big weather centre. Oh, I like the sound of that. Okay, I think that's what we will do. I think that will be the new revised plan for this bit over here. So that can be a toilet. That can be a weather centre. Okay, yeah, I like the sound of that. The only thing is, all that's going to cost an awful lot of money and our money is kind of dwindling down. I mean, yeah, Mr. Chappie here obviously heard us talking about money. We can make lots of money quickly if we added a death row. We're not going to add a death row. This is the loveliest prison. I can't think of anything less lovely. So I'm afraid you can keep telling us that, Mr. Man Who Pops Up. You can keep nagging us about the death row. It's not going to happen. So you know, just pipe down for a bit, please. Our money is very gradually creeping up, which is very good to see. I mean, tomorrow we've got no new people coming in. So we're not going to get any more money, but that's okay. I mean, look, we just crept up again a little bit more because we sold some power, I think it was. Back up to almost 13, almost 14,000, in fact. There we go. So we're looking pretty good for money. So it is creeping up a little bit, which is very nice to see. What I think we should do is I think we should wait until until everyone's having breakfast, possibly. What time is breakfast again? Remind me on the regime. Uh, breakfast is 7 o'clock. So everyone can wake up at six, have a bit of a shower, you know, enjoy time in their cell for a bit. And then, um, yes, at seven o'clock, they're going to go for breakfast and then they're doing some so, you know, work or free time and then they're eating and all that kind of stuff. So I think at seven o'clock in the morning, we do another shakedown. We go and find what people are hiding around the place because we have seen people with all sorts of bits and bobs. I dread to think what they've picked up now. I mean, are we looking low on whisks and spoons, everybody? Because if we are, you know, I suspect maybe we should concentrate on the prisoners. Right, seven o'clock. Let's do a shakedown. All sectors, because we haven't divided it up into sectors. So there's 325 places to look now. I suppose we have built a whole new cell block with, you know, drains and showers and toilets and beds and everything else and bird cages. So, oh my goodness me, there are many things. I mean, no whisks. No whisker. There's a spoon. There's a, I mean, a fork. Yeah, I can sort of see that. A spoon, I mean, it depends. I, you know, if you jab somebody with the handly bit at my hair. Fork, I can get that. You know, it's got pointy, prongy bits on it. Needles, yeah, they're bad medicine. Scissors, yep, yeah, don't run with those. Poison, only six phones. Oh, seven phones. Okay, creeping up. Um, a lighter, a screwdriver, some drugs, some shears, a drill, and three wooden pickaxes. Because we're all going to play Minecraft or whatever. Okay. So it looks like, are we nearly done? We're not even that close to being complete. There's still quite a few more places to go and search. They found something else over there. It's annoying the prisoners, but I think this is important that we get all this stuff kind of out of the prison fairly early on. So here we go, 305, 307. Now we did struggle last time to do the final spot, didn't we? There was one place where we couldn't do and we sort of gave up. Is that going to happen again? 324 out of 325. Oh no, there you go, it's done. It's done. Okay, we don't need to do another shakedown. You've had all your naughty stuff taken off you. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Yeah, look over here. There's lots of... There appears to be lots of toilety mess around the place. I suspect, yes, maybe we do need to turn this into a little sort of toilet block. And possibly sooner rather than later. Because I think that is... It's a bit unpleasant, isn't it? Um, yeah. Let, you know what? Let's work on that now. Let's do that now, shall we? Hang on a minute. Let's get, uh, let's get the walls into the middle. So... Your tiny walls, and then flooring-wise, do you know what? We'll keep the saloon doors going into the toilet, but we'll have, we'll just have, you know, classic, classic white tiles going on there. That's fine. Uh, and then we need to get some toilets in. Uh, now, there's not a specific, uh, hang on a minute, rooms. There's not a specific toilet zone, is there? I think if we just put toilets there, do we have to then do that with the, not logistics, where was it? Where was it? Deployment. Do we need to say that is specifically for, like, prisoners only or whatever? I don't know. I assume they use it unless we tell them otherwise. I assume that's the case. Okay, right. So we don't need to do anything with that. So if they get that sorted, move these library books out of the way. Because that's unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, we can search them if we like. I mean, can we just dump them? I think that means we put them in storage. I guess that means we take them from there and we put them down into our little sort of cupboard over there. So if we could get that done. That'd be quite nice, because they are just in the way. There we go. Oh, you... No, don't... No. <laughs> no, I meant... Oh, okay, fine. I mean, it's fine. We're, we're sending that to Rat Island. We're sending that to where the rats are, and they can read those books. That's precisely what we're doing, okay? Right, here we go. So, lose. 
So I think I'd like to get them set up a bit like they are over here. And then when that common room is moved, we could turn this into something very exciting. We could have it half restaurant, half bakery. This could be where the public come in through the reception and you yeah, have shop fronts on this side and then the bakery and the restaurant can be kind of on this side. And it could expand down here possibly. Okay, that's, that sounds amazing. Right, that's what we'll do. Okay, so now we need to get some toilet set up. So how about we have, hang on a second, right. Let's do some planning over here as well. So if we have say a wall like that, and then we have a toilet and a toilet. I mean, we don't need loads. We've only got, what, 21 prisoners. So if we do something like that with doors and doors and doors, and then just put sinks along here, that should be okay, right? That should be fine. That'll be okay. Um, and yep, you know, plant and plant because we like the plants in there. That's very good. Um, yeah, and we do want to get some lights in each of those toilet bits. Oh no, hang on, no, not there, not there. Across the top of the toilets possibly might make more sense. It'd be good if we could have doors. If we have little doors in there, that'd be amazing. Um, okay, right, so then we need to get some walls in. So here we go, some more relatively expensive walls going in on top of the floors we have just bought, but never mind. Right, and then objects, right, toilets. So one and two and three. And then we want to get, hang on a minute, so sinks, bathroom sinks requires water connection or just a regular sink. Okay, what's the difference? I don't know what the difference is. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's the kitchen one, isn't it? Okay, yeah, not that one. Um, I mean, we could, we could put a sink and a mirror in, in a couple of these. We could have a sink and a mirror, sink and a mirror, sink and a mirror. And then, um, what's the difference? Oh, they're exactly the same. Oh, okay, no, everyone, sink and mirrors all the way along. You can look fabulous after you've just been to the loo. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll put doors in, but we'll just have, I mean, again, we're going to have to have relatively boring doors. I do apologise for the boring doors, everybody. Sorry. I mean, how about like, bam, you can see through the bamboo doors. <laughs> That's not what you want when you're on the loo. Um, I mean, barn doors. That'll do. There we go. And then we want to get utilities. So it needs to be water across the top, water across the bottom. There's a water thing just there. So that's not so bad. So if we go like that, run that through the middle, like so. And then we can have the small pipe go in and I kind of up like that and across and down and then go in like that. That'll do. Splendid. Right. There we go. A new little sort of toilet bit set up eventually. I mean, yeah, there's a bit of building work to do, but they'll get there in a second. Oh, do you know what? I was just thinking, oh, our money looks very good. And then we've just been fined another 5,000 monies for a prisoner reoffending fine. Botherations. Okay, how are we looking over here? with our foundation education and general education courses. They're not looking very good at all. How are we doing on those programs? Um, hang on a second, foundation education program. Okay, so six are interested, 18 have finished it, and general education, nobody's interested at all. Not one person, maybe they have to finish this before they can take this on possibly, I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, that's not good, is it? That's not very good at all because we could do with completing this. That's $40,000 just sitting there waiting for us and it's just not happening. Oh my goodness me, and our money is tumbling. 2,416 money's in repairs. What are we repairing? Wow, that's a, hang on a minute. We're repairing an awful lot of things at great expense. That's, hang on, 2,400, 1,800. We're spending a lot of money on repairs and I'm not entirely sure what we are repairing. <laughs> I'm sure it needed doing. I mean, yeah, the walls do collapse and stuff, don't they? So I wonder if it was something to do with that. Okay, right. We, we've lost quite a lot of money. We're down to 5,800. Is there a grant we can take to help prop us up a little bit? Inmate nutrition research? What is this? Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. That's new, isn't it? That's only just appeared, hasn't it? Um, an independent research group is offering funds in order to participate in a trial on the effects of varying inmate eating habits. So objectives. Serve a single low-quantity, low-variety meal for two days. Serve three high-variety, high-quantity meals for two days. I don't want to serve low-quality things, though, because this is the loveliest prison. As exciting as the 15,000 monies would be you know, when we've actually completed that, we're going to have to make our prisoners sad. Um, I mean, yeah, single... Serve a single low-quantity, low-variety meal for two days. How do we serve a single one of those? I don't know how to do that game. <laughs> can we Can we say we'd like to just do one of those? I'm not entirely sure. Is there anything else we can do? 
Is there anything else we can do at all that gives us a huge pile of money? It doesn't look like there is anything we can do to give us a huge pile of money out of nowhere. Um, I mean, yeah, that means get our prison capacity up to 50. We're, we're, are we half that? No, we're not even at half that point. So that's not going to help either. Um, okay, can I remember how we did the food stuff? Where's, where's the food thing? It must be in here somewhere. Hang on a second. Hang on. What is this? So I've been just clicking around the place trying to figure out how we change the food quality. And I've happened across this, a prison grading screen, which is telling us how well we're doing. And um, yeah, there's a reoffending rate and it says 28%. Now I think, hang on, hang on. Don't we have over here a grant? If we go to, where is it there? If we take that, that's 15 grand up front and 25 grand upon completion to reduce the reoffending rate to 30%. So we should, if we press that button and take that grant, we'll take 15 grand immediately for sort of accepting it. But then because our reoffending rate is already 28%, it's lower than 30%, we should get given another 25 grand. I was looking at this. I was looking at this down here, but that's the average reoffending rate. I assume for the people we've got in right now, and not, it's that button there, and not the overall reoffending rate for the prison as a whole since it started or something. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, looking at the stats over here doesn't make a wonderful reading. It's not terrible. I mean, no staff fatalities. That's good. Thumbs up for that. Hooray. Capacity 23. I mean, you know, we're slowly but surely getting there. Deaths in custody 11. That's not great, is it? They were early on. It's fine. I don't think anybody's died for ages, have they? Um, prisons escaped. None. That's very good. But um, yeah, paroled early, reoffended 11 people. 11 of them. 18% of the people we've let out have gone and reoffended. So that's, do we get a five grand fine each time? So I can't even do 18 times five in my head. I've got no idea. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's try and do this maths with Penge. So 10 times five would be 50,000, would it not? Because, yeah, so, no, 11, no, not 18 people, it's 11 people. So, hang on, 11 people. So, it would be 55,000, is that right? It might, that might not, I might be talking nonsense. We possibly have lost 55,000 monies through people reoffending because we paroled them a bit early. Botherations, okay, never mind. Um, security rating is on minus one and health is on minus one. Reform is on four and punishment is on three. I don't know like the, what these scales are. I mean, do we want security to be high and punishment to be high or do we want them to be lower or what? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Health minus one sounds bad, but then punishment 10 also sounds a tad extreme. I don't know, but reoffending rate 28%. So I think if we do this, if we say, yes, I'd like to sort this out, please, we know it's going to give him a big pile of money. So 15 grand, if we now move time on, so we're up to 20 grand, because we got the advance from that. Um, hang on. Reduce the offending rate to 30%. It, is, it's, it, says, it says it's 28%. Game. <laughs> Where's my big pile of cash, game? Okay, never mind. No, it's not giving us a big pile of cash right now. Um, let's get our weather centre set up then. Let's use some of that money wisely to set up a weather centre, because then we can pretend to be weather people, and that's fun. Um, okay, so rooms... And um, yeah, we've not got that many left. We have got quite a lot of things. So we've got the library to go in, we've got forestry. I mean, it would be quite good if we could have a forestry set up. However, I think we might want to put a forestry out here somewhere. Although if that's the case, the prisoners could possibly escape. So we might need a little kind of secure way to get through to here from out here, possibly. Maybe using this area, maybe sort of going through here, possibly have a little secure bit. We could have a, a tiny forestry might be quite fun just to have one, I think. And then farm stuff going in the middle, bakery and a kind of a restaurant type thing over here. Um, kennels, I don't know where they're going to go. Possibly over here, maybe. And then we've got an armory. Not quite sure where that can go either. And somebody's got a pair of scissors. Don't run with them. Um, okay. But yeah, right now let's get a weather center in. We don't necessarily need a weather center, but it's a fun thing that we haven't got and I'd like one. So, um, yeah, where is it? Um, oh, hang on a minute. I saw it somewhere and now I can't see it. Uh, there it is. It's green. Okay. So weather center. So it just needs a weather machine, a, a generic sounding weather machine. Um, <laughs> okay. Where is the weather? There is the weather machine. Two and a half thousand pounds of weather machine. Um, okay, I mean, do we just put that in the middle? 
I think we put that right in the middle and then we just fill this room with loveliness. Hang on then. So what can we put in that's very exciting? Possibly, I mean, where's the coat rack? That might be quite nice. Um, oh, if I could spell coat right, that'd be quite handy, wouldn't it? Um, coat stand. Put that in the corner just there. And then, of course, in the other corner, a plant, because why would we have anything else? Um, and then, yeah, what about in here? We could put oh, a lamp. We could put a lamp in the corner. That might be quite useful. So a little uh, a little lamp going into the corner just there. Very nice. And, you know, we'll put another one at that end. And then possibly, could we have, could we have a table and some chairs in here? Just so people can sit down and relax in here. If they're doing, if they have a hard day of weathering, then um, yeah, they can just have a little sit down because yeah, we could put a table in. So hang on a second. Where are? Uh, it's not an outdoor table. No, no, I want. Hang on. Where's tables? Why is it being weird? Table. Um, yeah, a little wooden table. And oh, no, hang on, an oval table's better though, isn't it? So we can have them. So yeah, have it like that. Although, hang on, do we not want a chair in front of the, the machine that goes bing? Possibly we do. Hang on, so a wooden table might be okay, because that goes in the middle as well. Uh, we want to get a swivel chair, I would say, to go with that. So a swivel chair. The only thing is, it's not going to be centred. So let's have a look which side looks like it's got more buttons to press. That side has a phone on it. So if we put that there, they can reach up and grab the phone. Okay, and then we've got a little table at the back. So how about we have some smaller, but still you know, nice chairs. Um, yellow chairs. They might oh, deck chairs. Oh, they're outdoor only. Boo game. Okay, yellow chairs. We'll have a chair there and a chair there. And then we've got a couple of spaces at the end across there as well. What could we put there to fill this gap in? There's a little bit of a gap there. Um, I mean, yeah, what, uh, what would fill that in quite nicely? That's going to look really quite lovely in here. Do you know what? You can't go wrong with some lovely plants. So, okay, let's have some more plants. There we go. Very nice indeed. And, you know, just for good measure, we'll put a plant there and a plant there. It's a very lovely planty room. It's a very plant heavy room. It does also need some flooring. Okay, so a weather center. I mean, it'd be lovely if we could put snow or whatever or lunar surface. I think, though, I think let's have, I mean, it's, I, I like the idea of it being kind of like soft and comfortable. How about we just go for some blue carpet? That would look quite good up there, wouldn't it? Some lovely blue carpet going on. There we go. Very nice indeed. And then could we also complete that flooring? Is that that Salaco flooring? Yeah, if we could just sort of run that in like that, just to sort of finish that little corner off, that would be quite nice, even though it's very expensive. So there we go. However, we're going to plug that machine in, aren't we? Hang on a second. Um, yeah, we're just going to plug it in like that. Just put some extra wiring in just in case the rats eat the wires. Right, OK, so if we could get this in, that'd be very exciting. Then we can see what we can do with weather stuff. OK, it's looking good. I think all the chairs are in, the wires are going in. There we go. It's set up. Right, so now we have a weather machine. How does this work then? What do we do now? Um, can you move your death row message out of the way, please? Because I suspect maybe we need to look at what's under it. Also, can we please tidy the food trays up? <laughs> can we have... Like, a, can we have like a dinner supervisor, please? Like a food supervisor. That'd be quite nice. It goes around and just picks up all the food trays that have just been, you know, sort of scattered around the place. It's a bit of a problem, isn't it? No wonder we got rats that time. Um, I mean, yeah, okay. So what do we do with that then? So click to access a detailed weather forecast. Oh, oh, that's exciting. Is that what that thing lets us do now? Forecast by the weather machine. Okay, there we go. We have a lovely little sort of weather machine telling us what the weather's going to be like at various points. So it's just going to be sunny. It's just going to be sunny. That's okay. It's a lovely sort of warm sunny day. That is splendid. And it's well lit by the lovely lamps over there. Yeah, that's a nice room. That's a nice comfy room. I don't think it needs an operator or a swivel chair or anything, but you know what? It looks nice. Anyway. It looks nice and cosy. Oh, and look at that. That is very good. So it's coming up to the middle of their kind of free time slot. So I think that's between six o'clock and eight o'clock. So coming up to just about seven o'clock. And then, um, yeah, we've got some people here in the common room. So we've got Porter over there on the phone, thinking about drugs. I mean, yeah, that's that's not good, Porter. Think about tea instead. Um, and then William's over here. Not sure what you're doing, William. You're just maybe just having a sit down. You're kind of climbing onto the chair in a slightly weird way. But OK, you do you, Williams. And then how is this one down here? Is anybody using this common room down here? It doesn't look like it. I mean, this is the better common room, let's be honest. That's got arcade cabinets in and comfy chairs. I mean, you know, pool tables are good and table football is wonderful. And there is a TV, but that's no arcade cabinet. But there you go. Hopefully someone can come down here and use this because you are allowed and you can get in. I think you should be able to get in. Are you coming down here to use this? Gibbons, please tell me you're coming down here to enjoy some. There we go. Look, 
people are in the common room. Jagger's in there. Thinking of alcohol. I mean, think of tea, Jagger. Think of tea. It's a superior drink. Okay, there we go. This is very good. So they're in here having some fun time. And now it's gone to eating time. So they've bailed on that entirely. And they're going to go over here. And I mean, it's very busy in here now, isn't it? It's very, very busy. Possibly with some of the money we've now got, we might need to put some more seating in around this corner. I mean, do we move the rat trap? Hang on. Move the rat trap to just there. We possibly could put some more seats in round here. This does need flooring as well. It does look a little bit kind of... looks a little bit very... It's a bit sad. It's a little bit sad and unfinished. I mean, how much is the flooring going to be if we did the kitchen with classic checkered floor? How about if we did that? It's only cheap. $10 per square. Do you know what? We could at least make it look a little bit better. Yeah, do you know what? We're going to invest in that just there. That is very exciting. There we go. And they've moved the trap. So now we should be able to look for... Where are the um, dining booth thingamajigs? Down here. So diner booths. So we could get... Yeah, we could get sort of a row of them going in along here. Possibly up to where that radiator is. And then, yeah, they can sort of walk along the top end. Yeah, so if we get one, two, three, four of those in... Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. I like that. Is there anything else that improves the grade of a um, of one of these places? Is there anything that helps make this better? Like the fan makes it better and all that kind of stuff and the cooler. Is there anything else that makes this room nicer? Do you know what it lacks? Paintings. There you go. A couple of paintings going in. You can appreciate some artwork as you eat. Oh, well, would you look at that? A plant, no less. A plant improves a canteen's grade. Well, who am I to say no to a lovely plant? There we go. We'll put one on either side of the radiator down there. That is very good. And now have we got room up here for a plant? Of course we have. Many, many plants. It's going to be a wonderful cafeteria full of lovely plants. I mean, the floor isn't still quite done, but that's looking much better. The kitchen is looking much better. And it seems that all the lights have gone off. Why have all the lights gone off? <laughs> um, batteries are on zero. Uh, it's overloaded. Is it because we put in too many plants? Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. Remove electrical items or add more green energy sources. Uh, I mean, we could always put in another another solar hybrid thingamajig. I think we need to move these around to fit more stuff in. Can we move you over there, please? Kind of as a matter of urgency now, I would say, because, you know, none of the doors are going to work and everything. Um, also, why isn't that done? Why haven't we been given a huge pile of money for this? The reoffending rate is 28% game. <laughs> it says reduce it to 30%. I don't know what you want me to do. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Hang on then. So if they move those over... If they move those things over, hopefully they can do it right now. Just pick up the solar panels and reposition them. How hard can it be? Come on. Right, so drag those in. Okay. Right, now we need some more solar wind hybrids. Oh, this, is, this isn't good, is it? This isn't good at all. Everything's going wrong. Right, solar hybrid things. Five grand. Yep, okay. Plug in another one of those, please. I mean, if we get another one for free... Are we still receiving double thingamajigs? It doesn't look like we are anymore. That's a bit of a shame. That would have been a very good thing to get two lots of. Um, yeah, okay. Has, has that helped? Uh, oh, it's, it's a little bit disco around here. It's a little bit like a disco. Nope, that hasn't helped that much. It kind of spun around for a bit and then it stopped. Um, do we need to invest in another one? Has something has like the wires been eaten or something? Or are we literally just out of power? Are we just Have we got too much stuff? And we're not generating enough power. I mean, we have connected, you know, the weather machine and we've connected up various other bits and bobs. Uh, yeah, I suspect we just need some more power. Oh, dear. <laughs> right. Well, there we go. There's our plans gone. We'll put another one of those in and hopefully that can be enough to, you know, make the prison work again. Uh, yeah, just just build one of those really quickly. And there we go. And I think with solar power as well, I think hopefully... Things should be kicking into life. There we go. <laughs> right, we've got some stuff. Why is that overloaded and that's working, but that one isn't? What? No, this, I don't know what's going on anymore. What's going on with the green energy sources? Why are they not working? Hang on a minute. It's, a, it's autumn and it's sunny. So the solar panels should be working, but apparently they're overloaded. Uh, okay, I don't quite know why they're overloaded. 
Is there a thing which we can look at to see our power demand? Is there like a power button or something? I think what might have happened is that relatively early on in the game, we had quite a lot of kind of, you know, lovely, clean, green, energy producing things, but we didn't have very much prison. I think we had lovely cell block A and possibly the sort of cafeteria and a few bits and bobs over here. So I imagine what happened is then over time, our batteries built up and up and up and they just kind of slowly topped up. And then as we started adding things, as we added lovely cell block B and lovely cell block C and all these offices and the gym and everything else, we started sort of working our way through the batteries. So the power sort of production we had was okay. It was generating a little bit of power, but we were going through our batteries. And now we've kind of drained all the power from the batteries. What we have here isn't enough to power everything that we have in the prison. And that's why we have a little bit of a kind of a power crisis. Okay, so we are going to have to think about how we deal with this because all of this setup is still not enough to get the prison up and running. So what can we do? We can afford one more solar wind hybrid and that is it. It can go just there so it can fit with the other things. Although... We might need to put a little power line down there possibly first. I don't think we can get there otherwise. So if we could get that done, please. And then we put another one in just there. Hopefully that's going to be enough to get everything back up and running. But now we are hugely, hugely poor. We've got no money at all. And if this doesn't work, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do. So hopefully this is going to be enough to get things back up and running. Okay. It looks good. Nope, not even that's enough. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> However, we did just get given three grand, which is very welcome. Um, and then we spent some bit on a program. Uh, yeah. Okay. That didn't work at all well, did it? Okay, right. I mean, what else can we possibly do? Is it broken because these are not connected by these electrical bits sticking out the side? I'm not entirely sure if that is the case, but do you know what? I'm willing to give anything a go right now. Let's run those up like that and see if that makes a difference. And they normally do have a roll of like the wire lying around, so they should be able to do that quite quick. I'm not entirely convinced that will solve everything, but if these are detached, then clearly that's going to make everything kind of implode. So let's see, hang on, put time on nice and fast. Come on, come on. All the power's switched off. It's a complete disaster. It's, tw it's lunchtime. We've had half a day <laughs> with no power. Okay, why is there no power coming in? Can we, hello? Can we please have some power cable? I don't think it should be that difficult to get that sorted. Surely, there we go. And that has not helped one bit. Okay, right, that's still not helping. I think then what we might need to do is let's detach the weather machine because that might take up a lot of power. Things seem to go a little bit wonkaloids when we put that in. So hang on a minute. Let's sell that and sell that utility. Is that going to help? Is not having the weather machine plugged in helping? No. Um, <laughs> I mean, we've added a massive load more of these. Do we need to add another one? We've got 7,300 money. We're really cutting it fun. We can't take any more money from a, from a grant because we've got three going right now. Um, right. We're in, we're in dire straits, I think is what they would say. Um, okay. Hang on, hang on. We could fit, we could fit another solar wind hybrid over there. We could fit one just here. And I think that is all connected. I think they're all connected up, aren't they? They've all got electrical connectivity things underneath the power generating things. If one more of these doesn't fix it, then I genuinely have no idea what to do. I'm not entirely sure how we can sort this out. I mean, or do we do something like we have two transformers possibly? Do we have two transformers and, oh, I don't know, put another one of those in and attach half these things to one transformer, half to the other, and then and it work that way? I really don't know. I'm not entirely sure if that's what we're supposed to be doing. Maybe we've overloaded the transporter, but it says remove electrical items or add more green energy sources. So I think this is, this is kind of it. This is the final roll of the dice. <laughs> we've got one more of these. That's all we've got the money for. We're now incredibly broke. If this doesn't work, I'm not quite sure what we'll do. I have a plan in mind. Hang on. Oh, we got three grand from an early release prisoner reward. That's very good. Right. So when we've done this before, that seems to have kicked in and it's looked good. So hang on a minute. So right now, look, power is on. Things are working and it's good. So power production, 300. Power expenditure, 601. I can see where the problem is there. <laughs> Okay, we've not been keeping on top of the whole power production thing. And yes, we must have had a lot of charge in the batteries that's finally run out. Okay. 
uh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, okay, right. This isn't going to work, is it? We've got way too much stuff. Oh dear. Um, right, okay. We might have to possibly start detaching items. I mean, we do need the laundry and stuff. The, the weather machine is unplugged. I mean, do we unplug the gym? Do we just sort of disconnect the gym? I'm not entirely sure what we can do. What what takes up the most power? I don't really know. Can we find out what uses a lot of power and what doesn't use a lot of power? Um, okay, I mean, yeah, how much are the door things? But those door servos must cost quite a bit. Yeah, so, yeah, power production 300, expenditure 601. <laughs> but not too long ago, though, we were selling excess power. Not that long ago, we were making money from excess power. Hang on a minute, hang on, when was that? And when was that? We've got a, a budget thing somewhere. So here's the finance screen, and I think if I've understood this correctly, which I might not have done, of course, because, you know, it involves money and numbers and such like, but if I have kind of understood it, it looks like this is all for yesterday. It's one day's worth of sort of, you know, finances. And if we scroll down here, we can see that yesterday, according to this, it seems that we made enough power to export it for $1,289 which is quite a lot. So I don't quite understand how we've gone from generating enough power to export $1,289 worth of it to then only producing half of the power we need to run the prison. It doesn't seem to make any sense. How can we have enough excess power one day to export that much money's worth of it and then today all of a sudden have not enough to run the entire prison? I'm a little bit confused. I don't fully understand. So what I think we'll do is we will finish things up right now with the prison in a little bit of a state, if I'm being completely honest, because nothing is working. I mean, at least this didn't happen in winter, because that would have been bad. But the temperature right now, because it's autumn, is only three degrees C. That's quite chilly. It's only a little bit over freezing for you people who work in Fahrenheit. So that's really, really quite chilly indeed. I mean, it's sunny, which is OK. But yeah, the temperature is very, very low indeed. So that's a little bit of an issue. That's a bit of a problem. So I think we do need to look at this sooner rather than later. But yeah, we'll finish up for now and I'll try and figure out what the problem is because maybe maybe it's something that you know, has become disconnected or maybe it's something that I've done wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to kind of reconnect something or I don't know, all switch on or all switch off or something. I'll go and just jab enough buttons kind of you know, off camera, if you like, just to see if I can make this all kind of work again. Because right now, hang on, we should run time on, shouldn't we? I imagine everything's going to switch off again. Is everything switching off? And there we go. Everything switched off again. Okay, yeah, so that didn't work. Yeah, so we're generating... We're generating nothing. I don't fully understand. So, yeah, I need to go and investigate what exactly is going on here. I'm sure it can be fixed because we can't have gone from generating enough power to sell it for a huge pile of money one night to then not generating enough power at all the next day. That doesn't make any sense at all. So I'll go and investigate. We'll come back and we shall carry on. I was going to say, hey, things are going OK, but they're not. Also, there's something out in the sea. There's a notebook page. Oh, good. That's fun. Yay for the notebook pages. OK. Um, yeah, so we'll finish up for now. Come back next time and just see if we can kind of deal with this disastrous kind of power situation that we've got going on. Because right now I am completely and utterly baffled by it. And I don't really understand what we have to do to fix it. But I'll go away, jab buttons and see what I can do. Hopefully, even though it looks really awful now, hopefully you are still enjoying this, even though it's a bit all over the place. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Prison Architect. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lifts even though they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin. You've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh, okay, hotel. <laughs>